Hello and welcome to this episode of Product of the Every Other Week. I'm your host and enthusiastic maker, Robin Mitchell. In today's episode, we'll be looking at… A thing to talk about things that it can do. Things like, you know, the Nordic Thingy 91X. Just a reminder, if you want to test your luck at winning one of these units, then tell us what you would use it for in the comments section below. Good luck. So let's take a look at its guts. The Nordic Thingy 91X is a very small development platform for those who want to develop projects for the Nordic NRF9151 system in package, which, by the way, is 20% smaller than its predecessor, the NRF9160. Integrating a bunch of sensors and other capabilities, there is really little that you can't do with this thing. Oh, and it also comes in a protective case, which I just took off, which is great for people like me who literally drop everything. I mean, I'm not joking. As a Christmas present, my wife literally got me a man-sized food bib, which literally says I freaking spill everything. And within two minutes of using it, I spilled food. When it comes to the awesomeness of this kit, the first point that comes to my mind is that it's made by Nordic, who are well known for their low energy capabilities. But it's not just its low energy that's awesome. Their wireless and compute capabilities are second to none, which is why you almost find Nordic products in everything from wearables to compact portable devices. Even in applications that prefer their own processing unit, Nordic products are great as dongles, bridges, and other wireless computing devices. So when considering that this thingy is all Nordic, that means you can expect one hell of a wireless low energy development platform. Oh, and because of the changing political situation, this board is free from US tariffs, and this thing comes bundled with a bunch of SIM cards with preloaded data. So uh, you could say that it is the best board, it's beautiful, going to have lots of fun with it. So let's get down to the features and specs of the Nordic Thingy 91X, and there is no better place to start than the heart of this kit, the NRF9151. This device is a system in a package which is better than a system on module, and boasts a 64MHz ARM Cortex M33 CPU, 1MB of flash, 256KB of RAM, and ARM Trust Zone. The Thingy 91X also supports LTE-M, NB-IoT, NR+, GNSS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, but apparently the Wi-Fi's prime purpose is for Wi-Fi AP scanning and reporting these back to the cloud for the purpose of location finding. Of course, between you and me, you could still develop Wi-Fi applications on this. I'm guessing at this point the X stands for everything, like they literally covered almost every connection possible. All of these connectivity options allow the Thingy 91X to operate globally, which makes it a great development platform, and the inclusion of the extra I.O. through the Quick, Stemma QT, and Grove connectors means that you can rapidly expand your Thingy 91X with extra hardware. USB connectivity is also provided by an additional NRF5340, which also has its own Bluetooth capabilities, and the additional NRF7002 Wi-Fi companion IC gives the board Wi-Fi capabilities. Right out of the box, this board can be powered up and programmed to create practical projects, meaning that there is little fuss. The onboard MPM1300 PMIC provides accurate power measurement and charging, so you know it's good. On top of all of that, the Thingy 91X also integrates a low power 6 axis IMU, rechargeable LiPo battery, environmental sensors, and buttons for I.O. In short, the Thingy 91X incorporates many different components. What projects can you do with the Thingy 91X? Well, that's a hard question to answer, because it would be quicker and easier to list what it can't do. I mean, I guess it can't do your taxes, but then again, it probably could. Change your tire? Probably could, actually, if it controlled a robotic arm. Mend a broken heart? Oh, uh, well, again, this thing is so cool, I could probably give up my wife for one, so... The first project that I can think of is as an asset tracker. The global wireless capabilities, along with the protective case and access to GPIO, means that it could easily be built into something valuable and tracked around the world. GNSS would give you positioning, while Wi-Fi and cellular would give you fallback options. The second project idea that comes to my mind is any IoT device that needs to operate for extended periods on battery, 
While this kit has plenty of devices and I.O. to play with, it's an excellent prototyping platform for both measuring energy usage and designing code. Once the proof of concept has been proven, the final device can be manufactured, shrinking the size of the design even further, and this would all be thanks to the Thingy 91X. Finally, I also think this could be a very nifty energy meter for renewable energy sources. Large solar and wind installations need remote connectivity, and the combination of low energy consumption with multiple connectivity options means that smart energy systems could be developed from the Thingy 91X. This thing that I hold in my hand has some fantastic capabilities, allowing you to prototype all manner of low energy devices with wireless connectivity capabilities. The onboard sensors let you sense your environment, while the inclusion of a battery charger, additional GPIO connectors, and user programmable buttons means that you can create entirely functional prototypes of products without needing to break the bank on a soldering iron, breadboard, or any other kind of circuit building stuff. If you want to win the chance of getting one of these units entirely for free, then leave a comment in the section below telling us what you would use it for. If you like what we do here at Electromaker and want to show your support, then hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and head over to the Electromaker store where you can probably get this and so much more. This is Robert Mitchell, signing off. Woo!